how this one base foundational belief changes everything in your reality and how it replaces a ton of beliefs about all kinds of different things that you might be struggling with or you've been trying to like really focus on like different beliefs and trying to figure out what beliefs you need to change and affirm and this one belief is going to blanket it all and you're going to see how powerful this one belief if you change it how you're going to be able to catch it in real time throughout your life and the impact it will have on manifesting and on you feeling happy and joyful and good in this world. So stick with me because I want to show you the difference of when someone does have this belief and when someone doesn't and what it looks like. But before we get started, welcome. My name is Rose and welcome to The Rosie Life where we help you free your mind and follow your heart so you can live a life that you love. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for subscribing to the channel and liking my videos and sharing it with others. I really appreciate you guys um, loving and supporting The Rosie Life. And I love making these videos for you guys and helping all of us level up together. If you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can go to rosylife.com for all the information and options on how you can do that, or you can join our Rosy Life community and course where we get together as a forum in a community in a private setting away from social media and Facebook. And I show up every Wednesday, answer your questions live. Um, so you guys really get into this deeper. So also, if you're interested in one of their Rosie Life retreats, the first one is in San Diego on February 6th, and there's still time for you to sign up, or in Chicago on March 6th, you can email me for information directly about those things. All right, so the foundation of belief, I, I feel, goes really unnoticed and by a lot of teachers. And, and I mean teachers like currently on YouTube, like there's a lot of emphasis and focus on I'm good, I'm worthy, I'm good enough, I'm beautiful, I'm smart, I'm successful, I am, right? The list is eternal, okay? And honestly, you guys, I used to do that too. And it was exhausting to say like all of those affirmations and write them all down. And I'm like, oh my God, am I missing anything? And is anything being left out? And I, and because of how I used to think, you know, I felt like I was really detailed and wanted to make sure that no rock was unturned and that I was named this and getting the this really precisely right if you guys feel me comment down below because that is so tiring isn't it one of the things that I realized is that while I was manifesting things in my life right different things like money people cars all kinds of stuff houses right the there was kind of this like undercurrent this undertone of a story like you know you can call this the foundational belief or your foundational story of what you really truly believe and you can um say that you are god and you are no you know that you're the cause of it all and that you're affirming and you're visualizing but if you have this this foundational belief that I'm going to talk about today, and it and it's still there, even though you're affirming and visualizing on top of it, the foundational belief is always is like a river. It's just a current. It's just there, silently existing in the background in your subconscious, and you're seeing the evidence of this in your life. And it's really easy to tell when you have not changed your your foundational belief and what i mean by your foundational belief is your belief about the world about everything in it so all those great teachers like neville goddard said everyone is you pushed out and he wasn't referring just to people but he was referring to things everything that you see in your world everything is a reflection of you and you can get really detailed in on like okay i'm gonna focus on this one particular family member or person since they're me pushed out and then you might see changes but then you see all these other people in your life. Some people actually right now in the Rosie Life community are having a discussion about this specific topic in relation to people that they work with or customers or clients 
and or coworkers, and they're asking questions about like okay i visualized i've tried this i've tried that but it feels very difficult to love this person even though I know who I am and I know that they're just me. If why does it feel hard or why am I not seeing enough changes? And then they feel guilty when they react and they feel bad. All of this stuff. Well, I want to cover this in this video so that you all of you in the course and all of you the rest of you who are not even in the course this is going to benefit you as well understanding that your foundational belief about your life about the world you live in is essential because it literally blanket covers a ton of beliefs that you might be have have been affirming or scripting or or trying to figure out well First of all, no belief is ever hidden from us because all your reactions are showing you your limitations or your beliefs that you have, that you've created. Those limitations are self-imposed. They're not, they're not anything that are, you're stuck with. And, and your reactions are literally showing you what you have to let go of. So I came across this for myself too, not, not like I said with Neville Goddard, but even in The Course in Miracles. Course in Miracles, you know, talks about this as well. It says that everything is for me, right? And also in Reality Transurfing, um, Vladim Zeland says that he has a blanket belief of the world has my back. Right, so these are more global beliefs that really, when you persist in telling this new story, this new belief, that it covers so many things and you become free from so many beliefs that you were holding on to and trying to flip and change. So the, the blanket belief or the foundation of belief, you know, it kind of covers a little bit of Course in Miracle and what these other, you know, great teachers have talked about. And it is everyone and everything is for me. Now think about that. Everyone and everything is for me. I, I really want you to sink your teeth into it and not just say the words. Because when you really think about what you're saying, it becomes much more powerful and there's a lot more energy and feeling behind what you're saying and you'll actually believe it. But if you just mumble off words and you don't understand what you're saying, you're gonna feel like you're just blurting out words out of your mouth and you're just like, I don't get it, I'm not seeing any change. So to me, when I say an affirmation, I really understand what I'm saying and what it implies for me personally. And that is what I wanna share with you because I had a, I was affirming and saying, you know, wonderful things, imagine wonderful things, but I noticed that I was still reacting to things. I was reacting to landlords or people at the store or my son or different people. And I just would get this defensive part about me that would flare up as if I had to defend myself from someone, right? And and I noticed this and so I began to notice that and change this belief and what happened is I felt instantly more peace. At more peace, more love, I don't have to be patient with people because they're just me and I'm understanding that no one is out to hurt you, no one is out to get me, no one is out to say no to me it's just me having the belief that people could hurt me and i divided this into two <clears throat> if you can see it okay so on, on this side you can see the examples of what it could feel like see like or what you could be experiencing in your life when you believe that everyone or everything is is not for me right so if you have that belief you're going to have notice that all the different topics all the different areas come up it could be different uh topics like trust um, belief in yourself you can be guarded insecure it's a crapshoot if this is going to work out for you that things don't work out for you um you can't trust people um that people can hurt you people can reject you that people have the power to say no landlords have the power to say no a bank has the power to say no um a credit has a power to say no money has a power to say no do you see there there's so many beliefs wrapped up under this foundational uh, perspective or story that you tell yourself about the world that you are living in. And 
if you have any exceptions to this, you're going to notice that you're going to feel like you're struggling to manifest or struggling to trust that things could work out because you think that things rely on people or the weather or the time of year or your bank account or whatever because you're not really believing that things are just you, as Neville says. Now look at the difference. If I just take out the word not, everyone and everything is for me. The difference, people are here to help me. It's a sure thing. Whatever I desire, it's a sure thing because I understand it's all me. I am safe. I am open and fearless. Everyone is here to help me. No one can reject me, right? And I love this of uh, I'm open and fearless because fearless means that you're not afraid. You're not avoiding circumstances, people, things. I noticed that I was like, I was avoiding certain things or locations or didn't want to open the email or didn't want to open the bank account. Didn't, I was fear, I was like fearing what I was going to see. That was showing me that I was still seeing that everyone or everything was not for me. I was still holding some certain people that they could reject me or hurt me, be mean to me or or and so many beliefs if you guys can see this for yourself and I really encourage you to try this out sit down and write down these both of these affirmations everyone and everything is not for me and everything and everyone is for me I encourage you to sit down and write those out and think about all the different things in your life where you feel like everyone is not for you stop start there first maybe it's people the people the bank your landlord the mortgage uh, money it could be the recession it could be if you believe in that all of those scenes all of those things that you believe that someone that these are things are not working for you and then look really take that inventory and make the decision right then and there to drop it to let it all go and to choose that everything and everyone is for you and then I want you to write it write down what that looks like for you now in your life what does that mean for you specifically it's going to mean something different for you than it is for me or the others write down what that really looks like for you and you're going to notice the peace the relief that you feel instantly because remember once we become aware of anything then we have the ability the power to choose it differently um, I don't know last year a while ago I made three self-coaching videos and there's three as a three part and they're all it's, it's called my triple a method and I made that I think it was a year ago or so but anyway in there the first part the first step is awareness you must be aware of what you're telling yourself you must be aware because when you become aware one not only can you change it but the awareness think about who you are my awareness as Neville says is God my awareness is God and when God looks at something that thing begins to just it dis disassembles the love of your awareness now shines on it and it must go because at that moment is when you choose something new to say no I do not wish to view my life or the world this way anymore and this is not a one and done this is part is very important i want you to hear my out it is this is not a one-time thing yes you sit down and you only have to look at this one time if you choose to you don't even have to write this out you can just make the decision to change that belief right but it is not a one and done meaning you're going to notice that your old self the opposite of what you're now believe, choosing to believe in is still going to surface because it's already been manifested in the 3D world since the 3D is the past, your past beliefs, past experiences. So you are going to notice the old version of that belief still perhaps be in your reality and or maybe it won't but if it does I that is the time that you have to remember to change bring your awareness yet again and say yes I remember I believe that and I saw people like that but I don't instead I choose to love that person I choose to love the situation I choose to be thankful in this situation because I know who I am I know who I am 
I don't choose that anymore. I choose the I am. I choose love over this fear and that's really what A Course in Miracles is, is all about is choosing love over fear and it goes into obviously great detail for those of you who are, are looking for um, books to read right A Course in Miracles is it's a it's a big book and but the premise of it is ch how to choose love over fear and it really gets into the nitty-gritty of your thoughts if you're interested in reading that so if you're interested too, I just created, um, because I get, I get a lot of questions about what books I read and so I am more than happy to share that with you and I personally buy almost all my books on Amazon and so I made an Amazon affiliate page so um, and the link is in below in the description if you're interested in looking at the books that I read and I've just put a bunch of them that I've read so far and I'll and there's lots more and I'll add those in there as well or if there's anything else that you guys want me to recommend um, on there I'm more than happy to add it on there as well okay all right my loves um, so remember everything and everyone is for me but really get into in understanding what that means for you individually thank you so much for being here Thank you for liking the videos. I appreciate your love and support as always. I'll see you soon. Bye.